Right, so I'm uh, Flavio Parenti, and I am the CEO of Untold Games and a co-designer. And I'm Matteo Sosso, I'm a lead game designer and programmer in uh, Untold Games. So, uh, Loading Human is a uh, virtual reality adventure. So basically, and it uses motion controllers uh, to emulate the hands of the gamer. So basically, you are living a story, and uh, while you live this story and things happen around you, you have to solve uh, real-life problems like uh, taking a bottle, bringing it to someone, opening the bottle, put the, the water on, uh, on the flower, asking... I mean, the, the, the classical uh, problem solving from uh, the, the old adventure games like, uh, like Monkey Island. But you do that without, with no interfaces in a completely uh, virtual reality environment uh, into the skin of a character where you can actually hear his thoughts. So you are living the life of someone else and hearing the thoughts of someone else. So we decided to use the, the motion controllers because we think it's the, the only way in virtual reality. Um, this comes from a very basic um, deduction. You can't see anything from reality where you are in a virtual reality environment. You can't see your gamepad, you can't see your mouse, you can't see your keyboard. And it's, if it is true that uh, almost everyone knows where are the buttons, you still have your peripheral vision that looks at the gamepad while you play. Uh, so when you are immersed in a new reality, you need something that you can actually relate to within this reality. And motion controllers that simulate your hands are the most natural way to go in. Uh, because while you move the motion controller, you move your hands in the virtual reality and you actually see what you're doing. You have a direct feedback of your controller. And uh, there are no other ways. I mean, we, we tried. I mean, I tried motion, mm, uh, sorry, uh, mouse plus keyboard or gamepad. It's fun, but it's, uh, in the long run, it's not going to work. It's not so natural. You, you have to use, you have to see your hands. You have to be as more natural as, as you can. In, Body in presence in is, virtual is, reality. Is, virtu yeah. is very important in virtual reality. Yourself. As soon as you see yourself, the first thing you're going to do, every gamer is going to do, is trying to move your hands and see it, or touch the things around him. I mean, everyone that I, when they come to my house, I, I, I make them try the dev kit. Uh, which is always amazing. It's yeah. always an amazing experience to see the people relating to virtual reality the first time. And uh, all of them, all of them, they want to touch things. Yeah. They're, they're trying to, and then they, they, they can't see what happened. And they have a weird feeling of, oh, come on. No, no, I, this, is, this is needed. Maybe I don't need the smell, I don't need the, the heat, but I, I need to see my hands and I need to see my movements in virtual reality. So motion controller is a, is a no-brainer. I mean, they're going, we are, we are uh, looking now to uh, an industry that is seeking for a standard. Um, th the standard is, um, won't be oh, 6M or pre vr or MOVE. It's, um, it's an idea. And it's the idea we talked about before. Uh, the fact that you have to see a direct feedback of your movements in virtual reality. Now, what is the simplest way? Simplest way would be a gamepad. But the gamepad doesn't let you move your hands. So you just split the gamepad in two. And there you go. Whenever you move this part of the gamepad or this part of the gamepad, you are seeing your hands and you are skipping this old style controller that everyone loves so much. So this is probably the path everyone will follow. Um, we think, we bet on it uh, with Loading Human. Now, um, what will be the standard? I don't know, this is something that is going to evolve during the, the next years and we'll see what standards will be. I, I think the standard won't be a, a trademark, it's going to be uh, a way of thinking, uh, just like the gamepad, which is not trademarked. Uh, everyone can do a gamepad. Um, we love adventure games. Yeah. It's passion. First of all, it's passion. We want to do that because we want to try it. Yeah. <laughs> we want to do it because we want to have fun doing it. This is the first thing, seriously. Uh, you can't be that crazy if you don't like what you're doing. I mean, uh, it's completely crazy going in the virtual reality now. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's an opportunity for us. Uh, we're small dev, but we have something that uh, as a huge expectation, people are expecting something amazing from us. Uh, and we have this once in a lifetime occasion of actually releasing something that is new and, uh, and magic. Um, that's, that's what makes you, I mean, that's what makes me move in life. I think that we began one year ago, not now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one year we're working on it. <laughs> yeah. When I called him saying, hey, you know what, let's do an adventure game. I didn't even try the Oculus Rift yet. Yeah. 
I, I just pre-ordered yeah. it and I didn't know about motion sickness. Then he came in <laughs> and we both tried it and we said, oh, shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's a problem. <laughs> we began the development of the game without having uh, Oculus Rift. And we Oculus only Rift. had uh, Hydra, yes. so we can try to move hands. Uh, I mean, I, I, I read the Parman Lucky interview where he said, you know, the worst enemy of virtual reality is bad virtual reality. And we're completely and absolutely right. Uh, if you have motion sickness, you're gonna hate. It's a bit like alcohol. Uh, yes. When you get drunk on uh, whiskey, you won't be able to drink whiskey anymore for like a decade. And that's basically what happens if you are. Mm, how does it feel to feel to to have a successful Kickstarter campaign? How do you feel about that? <laughs> ah, it's good. I feel good. <laughs> yeah, we feel pretty pretty good. Yes. Yesterday we, we had a beer for uh, all the backers. Some Thank beer. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some beers, <laughs> and uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It's something. It's unbelievable. You know what? Um, one of the first backer of uh, of, uh, of loading human was a Tim Sweeney from Montreal, and uh, he put a thousand dollars. And he wrote us, guys, this is amazing. Uh, thank you for choosing Unreal. And we had uh, we had tears in our eyes. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. So uh, Kickstarter is amazing for that too. You have feedbacks from people you would never expect to have, and. You just it's 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 a it's a it's a love uh, love movement uh, towards yeah. something and it's beautiful it's beautiful uh, so we uh, we will release at the end of the campaign this uh, sandbox demo which is um, a pretty funny demo where uh, you actually you're in Prometheus and he will give you a tour of uh, the game but he will ask actually tell you you know what I I don't want to be there we should meet in the game but they asked me to do it so you know <laughs> I have to take you in a tour this is really unity yeah this is unity and uh, the the old everything release. is gonna change. And then we, because we made it on Friday, we, we had this bet with the backers that if we make it on Friday, we will release an Unreal 4 demo playable of a, um, a fragment of memory for quarter four uh, of, uh, of 2000, uh, yeah. 2014.